Hi, my name is Ford Baker. Welcome to the first class for Today I Can. Uh, Today I Can's goal is going to be to help you work with work-life balance and what you're going to put in your life. Everybody's heard the story about you got a bucket and we're going to put big rocks in the bucket and you got to put the big rocks in first so then you can add the little rocks and then the sand and that whole story. So we're going to use that concept today but we're going to describe it a little bit differently because most of us have got an idea that there are big rocks and some of them are dominating our lives in the ways others haven't. For me personally, where I, when I started this journey, this was my work rock. And I tried to put that in my bucket. And as you can see, I really couldn't get a whole lot of things else besides work in there. I do taxes for a living. All my clients have the same deadline. They have the same deadline every single year. And so it was, it was this period of time where I would literally work 24 hours a day. And trying to get other big rocks in there, no matter how small I made them, I couldn't get them in there. Well, what I eventually discovered was I really only could get the smallest of rocks in there, and they really weren't important, and they weren't that meaningful, and I really wasn't able to get anything done. It was all about work. And it, as I tried to cut that down and get it to be more manageable, even in a more manageable state, it dominated the bucket. And when I tried to add something else in there on top of it, just, it just didn't seem to fit. And so my life was out of balance. What I learned over time was that I had to get work down to a manageable size that would allow the other things in my life to, to be there. So in this class, we've identified four big rocks that we want to get into our life. The first of those rocks is work. It's a big rock. You've got to pay the bills. It's an important rock. You put work in, and you can see already, I've got room for other stuff in my life. For me, exercise became important, and so this was this is riding a bicycle. I got room there now. I'm going to add my diet and time to look at my diet and take care of it, make sure I'm fueling my body well, make sure I'm taking care of the temple that God's given me. The last rock is going to be a relationship with others, whether it's relationship with your spouse or your family, your parents, whatever it is, I gotta have room for a relationship with others and that's gonna go in here too. So now you can see, I've got these four big rocks in the bucket, but I've got a lot of room for smaller rocks that I can add. They can be important small rocks. Maybe you teach a Sunday school class. Maybe you visit your mom in a, in a, in a nursing home or maybe you spend time doing something like that. Maybe you coach your kid's soccer team. Maybe you like to go hunting or read a book. You see, I got a lot of room. Before, I couldn't get those things in or I had to force them in, but here I've got a lot of room. In fact, I've got room for a lot of little rocks. In fact, what I used to think was a lot of, a lot of little rocks really don't fit. I can have a whole lot of little rocks. And maybe some of them bounce away or maybe some of them don't get in there. That's okay. They're little rocks. I've still got a lot of things going on here. Remember at the beginning of the presentation I talked about how all of this has to be covered with God. And we have to have, we have, to have a relationship with God that permeates all the areas of that. So in this example, this is God. And for the first time, this bucket's really full. The bucket was never full until we added God. And the truth is, it didn't matter, unlike the big rocks and the small rocks, it doesn't matter when you put it in. There's, as long as it gets in there, it's going to cover. It's going to be the only thing that's going to allow us to completely fill this bucket. So we're going to focus on those four big rocks, how we're going to fit them into our lives, how we're going to cut them down, some tools we can use to do that, some things that help motivate me, and hopefully some things that help motivate you to make the same things happen in your life. Thanks so much.